Hodge. All right, good morning, everybody. We're just at our first stop of some Mickey D's. Like I said last week, we got the whole fam jam. We have a sleeping child and a wide awake, wide awake child. You would like myself to get on top of me today. That I did. All right, so they're gonna bring our order out here, and then we're gonna head to Collingwood. I thought we were going um, to Jason's. No, we're going yard sailing to Collingwood. But are we going to Collingwood. And we're going to see what we can find there because the last time I went there, I was very successful. So we will check in later once things start rolling. Check you later. Check you later. <laughs> check you later. Bye. Wait, man, why are you always such a dork, man? What are you talking about? Check you about? later. Check you later. First stop. So, I hope you're recording. Because, let us pray. Um, apparently, we're coming back here later this afternoon because he says I can't be bothered to go dig them out now. But he says he has Nintendo and Atari stuff in a shed. So, um, <laughs> I told him I'd come back later this afternoon. He says he couldn't be bothered to go dig it out right now, which means he probably doesn't want a lot of money for it. <laughs> That's my uh, my thing. So we were gonna we're gonna come back here later this afternoon, and fingers crossed, because that would be an epic score. It sounds like I wasn't expecting much. Because he goes, "What are you looking for?" And I'm like, "Well, retro video games or old video games." He goes, "Oh, well, I have a shed, a bunch of Nintendo and Atari stuff." I'm like, "Really?" It kind of got me all excited and tingly. That gets you excited and tingly. It does. I've been doing it wrong. <laughs> oh, your father's being a good Samaritan. <laughs> He's helping a lady, a biker. It's motorcycle rally this weekend. He, he's getting good juju. He's helping somebody so that things pan out for the lot. <laughs> he's picking up some good juju. There he goes. No? There's action happening everywhere. <laughs> Those were the nicest bikers I've ever met. <laughs> I'll come back and get you if it doesn't pan out. <laughs> but he was joking. So, uh, as my wife was saying before I turned that on, it pays to ask. So, that was the first thing I spotted at that sale was this little guy here. So this is the Sega, like, classic at, uh, Adam Games, I guess it is, or at, a, yeah, at Games. So it comes preloaded with a bunch of the Sega stuff on it and you can play Segas on it. Uh, cartridges, I should say. So he had $30 on it. Whoa. I got it for $15, which was awesome. And then I asked if he had anything else, and he I brought out. So I'll do this quick now because we're at another sale. Um, so a sack of games. It's like old people stuff here. A buck a piece, and some strategy guides. A buck a piece. So I'll go through everything later. Oh, Chrono Cross. Okay. And I earned another thing. You have. I'll use this footage to blackmail you. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. There was not a lot of yard sales today, but we still got some good scores. And we're seeing a dog. And fingers crossed that that one sale I'm going back to later this afternoon pans out. So I will cut to that point in time now, and hopefully it's good news. And yeah. all right. So this is it. It's like late. I thought I was uh, going to be going back sooner. Um, I ended up going to my nephew's house and helped the roof. Uh, so I got stuck there till like five o'clock. It's almost seven o'clock now. We were gonna stop at the place on the way home, but it looked like they were just sitting down to eat dinner outside. So we're going back now. And fingers crossed that there's games there still and that he didn't take them out and sell them to somebody else or something. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Good luck, lizard. We just listen. Video games, video games. It's next door. Oh, it's next door. It's right here. That's over there. The video games.
<laughs> Wrong hopes. Poor daddy. He's probably heartbroken. He probably is heartbroken. He didn't get any video games. Let's watch him come out of the bushes and cry. Cue the sad music. No. Cut that. Cue the, uh, in the arms of the angels. In the arms of the angels. Oh, no, maybe not. He's still around there somewhere. I can't see him. Did he get kidnapped? He said just give him a minute, he's on the phone, good sign. Okay, here, this is what's coming through. He said give him a minute, he's just on the phone. That's a good sign. Be quiet. It's a good sign. It's a good sign. I can't see him. Mm -hmm. Things we do for video games. He's smiling. Status update. He's been over there for about five minutes. He isn't dead yet. We're not sure of the quality of stuff. I'm thinking it's gonna be a Wii system with Disney princesses, but it could be a Nintendo. <laughs> It could be a Nintendo, and it could be Samsung, Snow Brothers. It could also be a Nintendo with like Ice Hockey and Dick Tracy. No, but it also could be a Nintendo for the four will go to me. I think it's going to be a Wii with Disney princesses and, uh, you know, like, uh, Yo Cookin' Mama or something. Let's, let's continue to watch. Six and a half hours later. Cue the upbeat, happy music. Start the car? Yes. Sort of. Did you buy all of their stuff? Sort of. They're, um, they're really nice. They're, they live here. They're locals. Um, so, <laughs> he brings out the first bin. Uh, I had to wait first. So, he was on the telephone, so I had to wait for a good five, ten minutes for him to get off the phone. Yeah, we got that covered. That's all part um, of the clips. That's part of the clips. Okay. We have like <laughs> We have like the whole 20 And then um, he went back. He's like, okay, I gotta go get a bin. And he walks back with one bin and he goes, there's two bins. This is the first bin. And I start looking through the first bin and there's two Guitar Hero guitars, PlayStation 2, a couple PS2 games, a DJ Hero. And I'm like, okay, nothing really good here. Was there a Disney princesses? No Disney princesses. Oh, okay. no. Uh, so I'm like, okay, hopefully the second bin's better. And sure enough, he walks out in the second bin. It's Nintendo stuff right on the top. So that's exactly what he said. Now he told me Nintendo and Atari. So I started digging through the Nintendo games system. And below that, it's N64. So there's an N64 console. Looks like there's four controllers in there. Some really good quality games. And there's also a bunch of Super Nintendo games. No system, but the games. Okay, well I know how much cash you had on you. Yes. I have no cash on me. There's a lure box. Originally, I said I would give. I said, "What did you want for everything?" And he goes, "I got numbers floating in my head: 200, 100, 
and he goes, what would you offer me? And I said, well, I said, I'm more interested in this, but for everything, I mean, I got 85. Uh, if you want to keep that PS2 stuff, that's fine, and I'll just take this stuff for the 85. <laughs> and he said, yep, yeah, sure, he'll take it, so. Dad? Yes, this was epic score. Oh, yeah, so you so want your wife to come with you yes. every week you now. You are good luck. <laughs> 80, and I want to look up one of the games that's in there. I don't think it's worth that much, but it might be. Uh, your standard stuff, like there's Mario in there. Uh, Total Recall was in there. Um, there. <coughs> Dick Tracy? No. I got two. I'm pretty sure there's two copies of Super Mario 64. Ice Hockey? Uh, Blades no, of Steel? No. Top Gun? No. Stop it. <laughs> so, yeah. Very excited. Dad, did he have Harry Potter and the third? I have no idea. I didn't ask. Dang it. You should have asked. So that was good. All right. So is that everything? That's Jeep. everything. Oh, look at this. We're, are we going to get Primo spot? Jeep. Primo Jeep. spot too. Look at this. This is like... Is that Grandma's car? Look at that. Closest spot in the lot. Is that Grandma's car? For our lazy asses. All right. As you can see, wow. Uh, epic, epic day of garage sales. And everything was from two sales. So... I will go over everything I got quickly here, some of the stuff you saw, some you didn't. Um, three items, I'm just step out of frame here for a second. Three items that I picked up earlier on uh, in the week before yard sales started, but at the thrift stores. I got a copy of Godfather, the video game, a copy of Sopranos, Road to Respect, that I have never seen before. Uh, those two guys were $3 each and a copy of Ghost Squad on the Wii from uh, Value Village. So that was a $4.99 price tag. So great pickups there for those three guys. And then the first yard sale uh, where I got video games, there were not a lot as you can see in the video, but I kind of briefly went over what I got. Uh, I will show those now. For a dollar each, I got Dragon Quest Eight on the PS2. So this has the nice cardboard cover which mine doesn't have, so this one will replace mine. Shadow of the Colossus, God of War 2, and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Um, so yeah, I got each of those for a buck a piece as well. <clears throat> At that same yard sale, he had some strategy guides. So, for again, a dollar a piece, I got strategy guides for Final Fantasy 12. Strategy guide for Chrono Cross, which I don't have, so I'm going to be keeping that one. Strategy Guide for Final Fantasy VIII. And Strategy Guide for Final Fantasy X. Uh, I don't believe I need any of the other ones. i got to double check and go through uh, just to confirm that. But uh, if I don't, I believe they're already spoken for. So again, that was $8 for those uh, four guides and four games at yard sale. Now, this is everything that you just saw me pick up, so... Uh, oh, actually, sorry, before, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, I showed this in the other video um, already, but I will show it again here. It is the Genesis uh, by At Games. Uh, this works fine, no problems. I don't have batteries to test the controllers, unfortunately, but my Genesis controller uh, plugged in the front of this and it worked fine, so it's pretty cool. I'm probably gonna keep this just because I don't have one and there's some uh, really good games on this that uh, I've never played before. Now, on to the pickup of all pickups, probably my best pickup I think I've ever had, definitely this summer, but it, it, it's up there, it's probably the best one. Uh, there was a Nest satellite in the box, unfortunately it doesn't have the adapter and it is missing the back plate. There were three Nintendo dust sleeves, one, two, three. Actually, let me know if you see this video before. Uh, next weekend, if you need any of these, I have a whack load that I'm looking to get rid of. So, if anybody needs more dust sleeves, I can bring some with. And we have power for an N64. You're going to see a theme here. <clears throat> see if I can find it here. Another power cord for an N64. See how this is all going to fit. We've got a green N64 controller, decent uh, joystick. We're going to get really tight here in a minute. 
We got the um, clear see-through one. Pretty loose uh, joystick on this guy. Watermelon red N64 controller. This guy is pretty loose too. Need a bigger shelf. And a gray N64 controller. So we got four N64 controllers. N64 system with the uh, expansion pack plus the jumper pack was still there as well. Put that back in right. And N64 games. So, yes, there were N64 games. In no particular order, we have Star Wars Episode 1 Racer, Super Mario 64. Duke Nukem, 64. Super Mario, 64. Jet Force Gemini. Mickey Speedway, USA. Mario Kart, 64. And Mario Party. Some good quality, quality N64 games in that. The N64 memory card. And I think that was it for the N64 stuff. Um, okay, so there was a power brick for Super Nintendo. No Super Nintendo system or controllers, but a bunch of Super Nintendo games. So for the Super Nintendo games, we received Super RBI Baseball, Sim City, PTO. I've never seen this one before. It's actually worth a decent amount of money. Well, I mean, not nothing extravagant, but Arrow the Acrobat, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Super Mario World, and Killer Instinct. So those were in there. And then, what you saw probably in the picture uh, that I shared on social media, a Nintendo. Game run out of room here, but that's all right. We got a Nintendo. We got the Game Genie. Zapper. Orange Zapper. We got not one, not two, but three Nintendo controllers. Okay. And then, oh yeah, hook up for the N64 as well. Forgot about that. Kind of jumping out of order there. A Guitar Hero DJ dongle, which is probably from that other bin that I didn't take. And I thought about it some more, and I, I remember really looking through that other bin, and there was not a Super Nintendo. There may have been connections for the Nintendo, because I am missing those, but I didn't look too hard. And then this cool little uh, Nintendo controller. When I posted it, a couple people commented on it, and I had never seen anything like this, but it's really cool. I know uh, Rambox mentioned that I think he said he had one of these. Um, but it's like super super comfortable with how uh, this is curved here and doesn't jab into your hands So I may actually hold on to this puppy. We'll see. Okay on to the games okay, uh, What order are we gonna do these? Here we go. So nothing amazing amazing, but still some good quality stuff in here. We got Tiger Heli Super Mario Brothers 2 Friday the 13th, which I do not believe I own, so that will probably stay with me. Pro Wrestling. Star Wars. And Dig Dug 2. And stick those guys there. Except for these ones are upside down. Do the old flipper mean. There we go. Okay, and then the, what do we got here? 
Total Recall, Goonies 2, good games there, sorry guys I'm a little unorganized here, Hogan's Alley, and then these last two are kind of the cool ones to me, not a very amazing game, but Spot, I just think the coolest thing about this is on the back here, I'm just going to kind of cover it up, but whatever, um, if you can read that it says Breakaway Video, that is actually uh, an old video store, it probably doesn't really matter if you see the address anyways, but one of the old video stores where I used to rent games from all the time as a kid, so I thought that was kind of cool that that's on there. I don't know if I'll keep it, I did tell somebody I was going to keep it sentimental, but I might not. And then the last one here is Pirates, um, it's actually in really good shape. I've never played this before, I looked it up and it looks pretty cool, so. Again, everything here, I believe I said it already, I kind of step aside, maybe I'll just bring you guys over, you can kind of get a pan shot of everything. But that lot of stuff, I paid $85 for. And then the other stuff back here, the games and the guides were 8 bucks, and this was 15 he was asking 30 and I got it for 15 so. Definitely one of my best scores. Um, this lot was holy moly. Um, I was worried all day. Unfortunately, I was away. Couldn't get back until late, late in the day. And I was worried somebody else was going to come along and ask about video games. Or he was going to pull it and just sell it while it was gone. But he didn't. So it worked out. Um, ecstatic. Cleaned all the games already. I just still had to test them. But great stuff. It just goes to show there's stuff to be had. You just got to work for it. Um, I enjoy going out yard selling. My wife, uh, the good luck charm, she's going to have to keep coming out with me. So, <laughs> uh, All right, guys. That is everything. Next week, there will not be a video. There will be a video probably not even the week after that. It might be three weeks before you get another video from me. We'll see. But next week is Chicago Con C3. Uh, the Cartridge Club, everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people from the Cartridge Club are getting together in Chicago. Myself, Bill from STC Pod, uh, Kevin, Buried on Mars, and his wife, Circa Sim, and J-Rock, the Game Rocker, are all hopping in the van, or rent a van, and we are driving to Chicago. Uh, I'm going to be doing Hodge vlogs while I'm away there, so those will come back. Eventually, those Hodge vlogs, I'll probably maybe do three separate vlogs, one for Friday, the Friday, the Saturday, the Sunday, uh, depending on how much footage I get. And then the following week after that, when we come back, I'm actually on holiday, so I will be away for a week. So I probably won't edit it until I come back from my holidays. So you may not see a video from me for two weeks for sure, possibly three weeks. So uh, Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see everybody when we see everybody.